Hi everybody. So today, say hi Vladimir. Hi everybody. Okay, so today Vladimir wanted to cook some um, hay stacks, okay? Of course, this is an all American classic, right? And he wanted to prepare this for his lunch, all right? So Vladimir, you wanna go ahead and tell us what you're gonna be using today? We're gonna use garlic powder, mm -hmm. complete seasoning, mm -hmm. seasoned salt, mm -hmm. black pepper, yeah. parsley flakes, mm -hmm. and prego sauce. Okay, what? So what? Why? Why do you want to use the prego sauce? Because it gives you that like uh, saucy flavor. It gives you the nice saucy, saucy flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, first thing. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is um. Dump your meat. Let me see if it's hot. It's okay. All right, dump your meat there in the pot. Want to dump your meat? Okay. Come on, you're going to be doing this. Okay, so guys, this is the sizzling sound that you want to hear. Okay, so what you're going to be doing now. Stand a little bit closer to the stove. You want to make sure that you break up your your ground beef right break it up into small pieces because when you're making the ground beef you don't want it to be so chunky okay so small pieces and this is not my first meal cooking with Vladimir all right I don't know if he likes the cook or he has an interest in it but most times when I'm making stuff in the kitchen I like for him to come and help me out, maybe to prepare the seasonings, maybe to um, cut up the vegetables, maybe to wash the rice, you know, stir the pot and uh, just help me out like that because I want him to be able to cook. I always tell him, boy, when you get older, you're choosing a girlfriend or you're choosing a wife, you gotta make sure that that person can cook. And even though that person may not be the best cook, that person should be able to handle herself in the kitchen, right? That's so, so important, right, Vladimir? For sure, okay? So you wanna try to break it up in small pieces. So don't be afraid to, um, to break it. Don't be afraid. Break it, right? So while the heat is on, you wanna make sure that you go ahead and do it like so. Don't be afraid. Let me take off what's on the spoon. Holy spoon. All right, so just go ahead. The hotter it, it gets, the easier it's gonna it's gonna be for you to take off all of the um, all of the big chunks that are there. Okay, just do it like so. Just go ahead and try to get the meat. Look at me. See, you're breaking it because when you're doing your haystack, you don't want big chunks of meat. Okay, so just do it like this. And be careful and watch your hands uh, from the pot. All right, guys. So can't you do the same thing for taco meat? Yeah, when you're doing the taco meat, it's the same way you're gonna do it. Same thing, same process we do. All right. So that's Vladimir, guys, cooking his um ground beef to make his haystack. And most of this process, I'm going to allow it, allow him to do it himself. All right, pretty sure he should be able to make his own um, his own meal, all right, in its entirety. So when this is done browning up, I will um, get back to you and show you what it looks like, okay? Okay, welcome back, guys. As I said, Vladimir, please be careful. Don't put your hand too close to the pot, okay? You want to give the spoon a good hold, but don't put your hand so close to the pot. Now, um, while the ground beef is browning up, and if you see, you can still see that it has some red areas on it, right? Do you know what that is? Uh, wow. Yeah, it's raw, right? So you want to ensure that that is what you want to really cook. You don't want to be eating raw meat, right? So that's why you're you're pounding that and just ensuring that you're stirring and make sure it's browning up nicely. Now, can you dump this um, onion? This is just a small amount of onion, guys. Just for flavoring and I, I'm not gonna put too many vegetables on this I'm just putting some be careful with 
the hand always wash watch how close your hand is to the pot okay always do that All right Right, so while low brown beef is cooking, you want to make sure that you dump your onions at the same time, right? So that you can get translucent. And it's going to be lost when you're finished um, making your ground beef. See, you can still see some red um, areas, so you know it's not yeah, ready. It's to like clear right, brown. yeah. So, and that is so, so important. Your, your food has to cook properly. Right, because you don't want to get food poisoning or anything like that so that's why all right so all right so i think while, while it's at that stage now i want you to go ahead and i want you to just um go ahead and sprinkle just a small portion of um powder seasoning okay take anyone take the um take the garlic powder just a small bit you want just a, a tad bit okay not too much if anything you can that's enough that's enough and when you're pouring stuff look at me your hand is very light hold your hand very light and just shake it like so okay so that was the garlic powder that was about maybe half a teaspoon because it, it's not a lot of ground beef okay go ahead with your complete seasoning here you go Can put a little more good job so that was about half a teaspoon of complete seasoning also do the same with this is um your seasoned oil seasoned salt go ahead and put a little bit in this also good job that's enough. That was about half of a teaspoon. Go ahead and shake some parsley, please. This one is a little bit harder to come out, so you shake it. Shake, and this is different from the um. This is just some herb. This is different from the um powdered seasoning, so you know it's not gonna take take away from your food okay and then I have some black pepper here can you go ahead and grind up some of this in there also watch your hand and the pot always that is the trick okay that's good you a small spoon and you're going to taste your ground beef. Taste a little piece of it and tell me if you think it wants a little bit more seasoning. It needs more? Okay. And it's better if you do that rather than put too much at, at, at one time. Okay, so sprinkle a little bit more of this because I'm not going to be putting. That's a little bit more seasoned salt, guys. I think that's enough right and that is the art of cooking okay Vladimir so you just want to make sure that you do a little bit at a time if you're not sure or if you're not versed in the kitchen you want to make sure that you do a little bit at a time okay that's so important all right so at this moment let me give it a taste of Um, yeah, I like how this is looking. All right, that's good. So it's okay. All right. So now, while it's at this stage, let me take you a little bit closer. See, everything is nicely grounded up, nicely browned up. Okay, that's what you want. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add like two tablespoons. I think I'm gonna put four. 
okay? Four tablespoons of the Prego sauce. Meat flavored I like to use. All right, so that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's four tablespoons. All right, go ahead, Vladimir, and mix that in. Mix it in. I'm gonna be adding some water to that. All right, that's good. I'm gonna be adding. Let's see. To that, I'm gonna add some water. Mix that around, and let's see if we want some more. Make sure that everything is coated. Make sure that all of the ground beef is coated. And I think I, 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 I can put even one more, I think so. One more tablespoon. So that's five tablespoons and that was Good job. And I think that was about one cup, maybe one, two cups of ground beef, I would say. Make sure everything is coated, okay? So you take it from this side, just bring it in like so. Move it back out. All right. We want everything to be coated. Good job, Vladimir. Here you go. Do you think you do you want some more um, sauce in there? Taste it. Okay, taste it. It's okay. Good job. I want to put a little bit more water so it can. Uh, I don't want. I want it to be juicy. That's why. Right. Mix that around. So when this is finished, right? What we're gonna be doing? What are we gonna be doing? Do you know? Eating. eating. <laughs> what are we gonna be eating? Oh, we're gonna be eat. we're gonna put uh, chips. Mm hmm. And what else? Salsa. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put this in too. Yeah. And uh, sour cream. Sour cream. And what's what's the biggest ingredient? The biggest ingredient. Cheese. Oh yeah. Cheese. Okay. All right, guys. So see, good job. It's not dry. So it look it's looking nice. Okay. So we're gonna get back to you. I'm gonna turn this off now. And I kept my stove on medium heat. So I'm gonna turn this off now. All right, and then when we get back, we're gonna go ahead and do our assembly, okay? Hi guys, so welcome, welcome, welcome back to our assortment of our haystacks, okay? So Vladimir, are you ready? Mm -hmm. You wanna show all, all the ingredients that you're gonna be using to stack? Okay. First, so what's that? We're gonna put sour cream. Sour cream, let me see, can you show the brand? Uh, Daisy. Brand. The Daisy sour cream, sour cream, okay? Sour cream. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna use this. This is what? Uh, okay. Some chips. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you for this one, you can use different brands if you have it, but this is the one that we had, okay? So chips, sour cream, what else? Cheese, we have different like kinds of cheese. This one has uh, taco seasonings, mm -hmm. and this one just like Mexican blend. Okay, so just a different um, different blends of cheese. And, and uh, salsa. Let me see. Salsa. Okay, so we have some salsa. I thought I had more, but um, that's all we had. But if you had salsa, um, if you have salsa, you can put it there. And of course, we're gonna be using our... Okay. Our ground beef, right? So are you ready? All right, so first, what are you gonna be adding? So first, uh, yeah, chips. Okay. Just use your hands, you have clean hands. So just use your hands and put what you want there. It's your meal. Okay, and I always stress, make sure that you have clean hands when you come into the kitchen. Vladimir had to wash his hands thoroughly, okay? All right, so that's good. So that's the first ingredient you wanna put. And some people, you know, they have, um, they add guacamole and they add corn, they add black beans. So you can make this meal you know, however you want to make it. But for the kids, this is the simplest way and this is what they like, right? What I'm adding. 
what's the next next thing where's your spoon let me give you a spoon because it's a non-stick pot i want to use um here here you go a plastic spoon so go ahead and sprinkle it all over okay put more mm -hmm. put some more right here put some more over here very good okay good job and next you want to put your cheese okay next you want to put your cheese go ahead and add some cheese because when you put the cheese on top of the hot ground beef the cheese is going to be melted all right so that's what you want to do you want to have a little bit of melted cheese and they they said they call it haystacks because literally you're going to st stack up your food so if you wanted to add more layers of chips and then con um repeat the process of putting on your ground beef and cheese and what whatever you have to put on it you can go ahead and do so right but we're just going to be doing one layer of each today all right okay that's good that's enough all right so then you can add some sour cream let me go ahead and squeeze this one i have a new bottle but this one still has some so you want to go ahead and you want to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze the sour cream i think sour cream makes everything everything yummy i tell you if you're making scrambled eggs and put some salsa with some sour cream so so yummy you can try that sour cream makes everything better okay that's good and then I'm gonna be using sorry a small spoon and I'm gonna add some salsa to it. I wish I had more salsa, but anyways. This is just for me and you because Charlotte won't eat the salsa. That's good. Okay. So here it is guys. Our simple haystack recipe okay simple is the recipe all right all right can that's good try yeah you want to try okay so vladimir is going to be trying his haystack how is it it's good yeah do you think tomorrow you can prepare it again by yourself? You sure? Okay, okay. So, good job, good job, Vladimir. Good job, good job. Thank you for um, making the suggestion and thank you for cooking with me today, all right? So, guys, um, if you like this video, Cooking with My Nine-Year-Old, please give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please leave your comments, right? And, of course, give me lots of thumbs up and once again in the comments also let me know if you want me to prepare something um special for you okay i will go ahead and get the ingredients and make it for you thank you once again for tuning in today and i'll see you in the next video okay bye bye, bye. say goodbye vladimir bye